Miranda's been hot on the tail of the sea eagle, a bird that could definitely give this lot a run for their money. The Isle of Skye, a place of incredible beauty and even more incredible avian action. This is a battle of eagles versus gulls. Two white-tailed seagulls have developed a way of getting the gulls to do their hunting for them, and I'm hoping to witness this remarkable behaviour for myself. Sea eagles are a conservation success story, having been reintroduced to Scotland 40 years ago. Victor and Orla are the resident pair around here, and a unique tidal flow in the area creates a plentiful food supply for gulls, gannets and seals. And whilst Victor can easily catch his own fish, he's not averse to bullying other birds for some fast food. Alison McLennan, the RSPB warden for Skye, knows these birds better than most. Well, they've been around since about the autumn of 2009, but they've had a number of successful breeding attempts now. They're having a very successful year so far. This year we've got one chick in the nest. And this is a period of intense feeding activity on behalf of the parents, isn't it? It is. We're very lucky with the unique situation we have here because everything sort of comes together so that there is a, a plentiful food supply for them. It's an ideal place to be a sea eagle. Perfect. With a hungry chick on the nest, Victor and Orla have to up their game. Fishing comes as second nature, but they have been known to adopt more unusual techniques. To get the best view, I need to get closer to the action on board the local passenger ferry. And I'm obviously not the only one keen to spot these impressive birds. This thin channel of water is called the Kyle Reen Narrows, separating the Isle of Skye from the mainland. It's here that the eagles are known to do most of their hunting. It's about half past four and the tide has just turned and that means that the water's going to start flooding through the gap again and this is when the eagles' aerial show begins. As the water is squeezed through the gap, so too are huge numbers of fish, mainly mackerel, which triggers a feeding frenzy. These little heads popping up all over the place. We've got seals all around the boat. There's gulls sweeping down over there. There's, there's, there's energy, there's anticipation here. There's no guarantee of seeing the sea eagles fishing for themselves or harassing the other birds, but this is their favourite spot, so we could be in luck. Quite often they'll perch on the rocks just down by the shore or perhaps up on the trees, just on the tree line behind that. On the larch trees, just up there, OK? Just the front tree. He is enormous. And look, look, he's off. He's off and swooping down. Oh, God, he's got something. Has he got a fish? Oh, look, 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 he's going... Yes, he's going for one himself. I thought he was going to chase the gulls, but he's actually going for a fish wow. himself. No waiting for the gulls to do the work for him. Victor is more than capable of catching his own lunch today. Ironically, it's the eagle getting harassed by the gulls and crows rather than the other way round. But there's no chance of Victor giving up his fish. So he's, he's disappeared off in that direction. Is that where the nest is over there? Yeah, he's heading home to the nest. Then that, that fish will go straight to the chicks. They always take fish to the chicks before they feed themselves. Sea eagles can return to feed their chicks 11 times in one day, so Victor has his work cut out for him. Sometimes bullying the gulls for their food, other times picking off mackerel for himself. Either way, it's clear that in these parts, it's the sea eagles who rule the roost. <laughs>